Swift as my feet can carry me. What's hiding here? corpse regards you lifelessly. Marcus! Fisherman! Brains! Didn't see him coming! Woman! Beautiful! Went west. Others followed. Couldn't help themselves. Elf ran north. Up the beach. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. What's in here? those wretched things. Strike could be lethal.
Moving. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. Don't give me trouble now. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> Of course, 
else it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Even if injured, best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Goblins over there. Worth checking the supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. We'll approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Should have clarified. Mm -hmm. A helping and anyone? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Whatever you're doing is 
working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. So I was Plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Go to hell. Ha! <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial.
merely contemplating. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts, pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Ah, no, tea isn't really my drink. I'll be awake a while anyway. I need some time to think things through, to process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? I see. I'd be careful with Gail. He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. is a mercy, yet your eyes refuse to stay closed. Every time they flicker shut, the tadpole seems to twitch behind them. Dragons, gears, and the hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. find it. No matter the cost, your life is your own. No wriggling tadpole is going to change that. Sleep claims you. Determination buoyed by gentle dreams. <laughs> 